All right, my name is WSX Rampage. Um, I post mainly on LS1 Tech, um, so hopefully this can help uh, out another tech member or someone else online who just found this on YouTube and really needs this information. All right, so basically what I'm going to be doing today is uh, the VATS or the uh, the pass key bypass for my 2000 WSX Trans Am. All right, so I found some resource material online on the subject, uh, mainly text, very few, few video on uh, YouTube concerning this. So hopefully this actually helps with some of the prep work that someone else can use to their advantage. All right, the things you're going to need is ohm meter. You're going to need uh, shrink wrap tubing, soldering iron. Obviously, you can tell I've never used it before, so this should be fun. Uh, bullets, um, black electrical, t electrical tape if you need it. And I went with 18 gauge speaker wire, even though the resources online called for six, sorry, uh, 16 gauge. I just didn't feel like buying 50 feet and they wouldn't give me, you know, small increments. So um, I went out and got a resistance pack. I didn't get the value pack, which is a small little bundle. You know, I just didn't feel like risking having to go back for more if that was the case, knowing my luck. So that's seared call. So I bought the... Uh, 100 piece carbon film resistor assortment. You can get all this stuff over at uh, Radio Shack. I got my ohm meter over at AutoZone. It's up to you. I need this thing anyway. I'm feeling like this is going to be something I'm going to, it's going to be really handy anyway, so no big deal. All right, so now if you have the resource material, you've gone through, you're not that sure. Um, you've seen some YouTube videos, you're still not that sure. So I'll tell you right now, first time I've done this. So if I succeed, then, you know, if I can do it, then. <laughs> A monkey can do it so um, let's try this all right so now the text pretty much says it you know and some videos say some people are actually very fortunate enough to only need one of these suckers okay those people can go fuck themselves <laughs> if you're lucky enough then you know seriously uh, I had to use five um, not that big of a deal it just took a little math so Basically, what I did to make my life easier, um, I took these probes after taking the reading on the key. Basically, you're going to take these two probes and you're going to actually measure, uh, put it on both sides of the key on that little uh, center of the, the pellet. Basically, you're going to get a reading. Mine came out to 3.74 on the ohm meter. Okay, just make sure you put it on uh, 20K. That's what I saw online and it worked, so no big deal. Um, I actually got the probes, and to make my life easier, I actually put the probe to one resistor, just as an example, because these are all together, uh, one resistor, and then put it on the other end to another resistor of the same alleged value, okay, took that rating, whatever the two of them is, went over to the back of this, and just went off the chart, you know, just to verify, if you have no idea what the freaking hell I'm talking about look it up on online YouTube uh, look up res resistor value or testing or something like uh, resistor testing something like to that effect they'll there'll be a short on that and so you could actually look at that and he will tell you about the color how to read the colors and whatnot if you need to but basically I actually uh, I wrote down the value up on the up top that way I can keep track make my life a little easier now, all right, so I'm going to use my key as an example. Basically, my reading, as mentioned before, came out to 3.74. Now, translated that to actually, I guess, the value rating number 10, which means absolutely nothing to me. But um, basically, I that equates to 3,740. Um, I have a 5% give and take on both ends, which is 187. So basically, my range is 3,553 to 3,927. Um, I went ahead and combined one from each of these packets. Actually, I think the last one I took two, and put five of them together. The rate I actually put the ohm meter, or sorry, uh, these probes on both ends, and the reading I actually ended up getting was three thousand point, sorry, three point seven six. You know, considering the fact that my actual number was three point seven four, and I had a pretty broad range. That's not bad. I ain't complaining. So this is going to be part one. Uh, I still need to finish this up, but hopefully this prep work actually helps someone else with this nightmare. Um, so good luck, and uh, if you want to see where this goes, just uh, this should be the next video you know, on this topic. So good luck if you have to deal with this, and uh, cool. All 
all right? 